Mexicanos all over here here. Amazing. Not touching anything. Such a dense forest over here. Amazing. They're really small, really agile. The Mexican funnel-eared bat is a neotropical bat species found from Sonora, Mexico, south to eastern Brazil. It prefers dry, semi-deciduous forests and second-growth forests, but in some cases it's found in evergreen habitats. It's a species of the lowlands, found normally around 300 meters, but they have been found as high as 2400 meters above sea level. They roost in moist caves, often with openings close to or at ground level. These bats normally roost in groups of 300 or so. They leave their roost about 30 minutes after sunset and fly low to the ground. Their funnel-shaped ears are angled forward and their eyes are tiny and even hard to see. Adult male funnel-eared bats have a gland-like structure in the center of the forehead. It's called the natalid organ and no one knows what it does. Their small size and long tail membrane allow this remarkable ability to fly at full speed through the understory. The Mexican great fennel eared bat. What a great name for such a small bat. A few grams, five grams, six grams maybe. Beautiful golden orange color. The belly is a little bit paler. Look at the long tail membrane, tail. Makes a huge basket to scoop up small insects. This is the only bat species that the tail is longer than its head and body. Pure veins and muscles, strong, even if it looks so, so fragile. A really interesting date is that I only have a pup, um, one pup a year, um, for example, and the gestation period is eight to ten months. 